This morning we're going to learn the inverse of the video on how to unzip everything and we're going to zip a directory <clears throat> or multiple folders to one zip file. So I know in the previous video the function was called zip everything and it was unzipping um, but yeah it's actually unzipping and this one's going to be actually zipping. And uh, for those of you who don't want to type out all the code I just want to let you know that both functions are available under my github powershell administration and then unzip multiple files which of course I called this right <laughs> but you know I didn't call the function right anyway um, and there's the unzip everything and then zip everything and so zip everything is actually really really easy uh, what we do <clears throat> is we pass in the source this is going to be the folder directory where the files are at and or the the folders or the files and then the destination and it's going to turn into github.zip and so let's go ahead and take a peek so we have unpack and in unpack we have c-sharp powershell sql server so we look at here and we're like okay we want to zip all of this so we want to zip everything um, in these folders and or under this directory I should say to a zip file which will be github.zip <clears throat> okay hold on should not have done that all right and let's go ahead and call this and you will see now we have github.zip and it has all of our code there so it's actually really simple to to zip it's just kind of it's almost the direct inverse it's not quite it is true that we have to come up with a name for it um, but it's almost a direct inverse and there are ways in which you can automate that by having it automatically pick a name based on the folder or whatnot so that's all very simple basic stuff that we've covered before